Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. It is Wednesday, February 23rd, and it's currently 5.17 p.m. And I have these two gorgeous babies here. Both of them are painted by me. And I am just going to be showing you guys a few of their details and kind of comparing their skin tone. And also, I am going to be telling you guys the story about what happened to the baby that I was supposed to be getting. Because I know I keep talking about it. I'm like, okay, I'll tell you guys the next time. And I never do. So, let's get comfy. Okay, I just sat down. So, I am using my phone for this video as I feel like my camera does not show their coloring. It does not show their details. It just doesn't pick it up because of the lighting. My camera's great, but if there's bad lighting, there's bad quality videos, you know? So that's why I have my phone here and I don't have my phone tripod. I told you guys before that I lost my piece to it. So I might be a little shaky. It's my hand. I'm going to have to just hold it. The ring light is on. Anywho, I'm going to say this now. You guys might hear screaming or yelling in the background. Those are my little cousins. And so, you know, it's natural for kids. To scream and yell <laughs> so if you hear that in the background you can't take it anymore i do apologize anyways i created this baby right here this is Roborn claudia from bountiful baby this is a seconds kit and her price does reflect in that um she is Roborn claudia she's on a 17 inch body she wears a large creamy and newborn but i always put newborn on this baby because this is a newborn onesie and it fits her perfectly and this white onesie underneath is also newborn and she was created in september of 2021 this is sweet pea asleep painted by me and is um sweet pea asleep i think i said that painted by me i finished this baby a few days ago i just finished glossing the eyes as you guys can see in the corners and on the eyelids, inside of the nose, on the mouth, and the fingernails, of course, and then the toenails. This is my latest creation. I just finished this baby about, I want to say, two weeks ago. Both babies are properly weighted with glass beads and stuff with polyfill in the appropriate places and spots. Um... He does have a major boo-boo. If you guys didn't watch my video of me changing him into this outfit, go ahead and watch it. One of his boo-boos is that his leg, this leg right here is like a shade darker than the rest of his limbs. Don't know how that happened, but it happened. So I decided to weigh him and make up for that. And so, yeah, he is about 23 inches. He wears zero to three month size clothing but i will honestly say three months and three to six would fit him better than zero to three but of course you can't put zero to three on him this is a newborn outfit and as you guys can see the shirt is too small <laughs> his diaper keeps showing i keep trying to pull it down but then his cloth just ends up showing and then on his sleeves on his arms it's too small to newborn but the pants fit him okay. I had to like pull them down a little bit <laughs> so that they don't look like they're like high water or anything. But this outfit is super cute and I do like it on him. He is a bald baby. And she is rooted. And I will root him. Um, He's bald. I will root him for a small additional fee. I do have some curly hair that I used to make the reborn toddler that I made last year in uh, like April, May, March, April, May. I have some curly left over here, and um, if you guys want me to root him, I can root him with that hair, and I won't um, charge for the hair, just only the rooting services as another, you know, sorry for his leg. <laughs> um, but of course, you can always go home as bald. Oh, inside of his ears are gloss as well. Okay, so this is their skin tones, and this is, I think this is my first time comparing them or having them buy one another. For the most part... They're about the same skin tone, I would say. I, uh, Claudia, Claudia is a shade darker than him. Yeah, she's a shade darker than him. She has rooted eyelashes. She's so cute. They both have cute little scratches on their nose. And on their eyelid. Well, hers is on her eyelid and his is like 
on the side. That's cute. I didn't even notice that I put in the exact same place. That's cute. So, yeah. Oh, no, they were by each other. They were side by side in the for sale video. What am I talking about? So, yeah, those are the cute two babies that I have for sale. I have two other babies for sale if anyone's interested. All of my babies are $300 free shipping in the U.S., under did i say under all my babies are under 300 dollars free shipping in the u.s that is a great price for authentic african-american skin tone babies i have to say authentic because all i do is support authentic scopes and kits because that is just the right thing to do no if ands or buts about it oh and she does have rooted hair and she's dressed as a girl but i had her as a boy for the longest and now i just don't know what i see anymore boy or girl i didn't dress him as a girl but if anybody's seriously interested of course i can put girl clothes on him even though he looks all boy to me all right so please enjoy these precious babies while i talk about like what happened and why i haven't got any new babies or anything like that so um yeah look how she curls up so perfectly he does too but he's being a little difficult right now Oh, uh, look at that. Okay, so why I haven't got any new babies? The last baby I got was Javen, and that was back in November. So how my collection goes is I have to sell babies in order to get babies back into my collection. Money thing and a space thing. I don't have a lot of space for a lot of babies. And so... That's one of the main reasons. And now you guys are probably wondering what happened to the baby that I did buy. So I was able to purchase a baby back in December. And um, I was so happy because it seems like I did just get Javen. Because I got Javen the 11th, the 12th, 14th, 13th. One of those days. It was the second week of November I got Javen. And then at the end, it was a a little bit before Christmas. I seen another baby, great price, dream kit, dream kit. I fell in love with this baby and I was like, can I get this baby? Can I get this baby? Even though none of my other babies sold, but I was able to get the baby just because it was a really, really great price. And because I really, really wanted it. It's one of my dream kits. I had to get it. So I got it. Long story short, now it just became one month, almost two months. And the person still did not ship. I am one of the most understanding people ever. I did not, I bought the baby, I want to say December 14th. I did not contact the lady until after Christmas because during December it is busy. It's the holidays, people are spending time with their families. And so I did not contact the lady asking about shipping until a few days after Christmas. I want to say it was the 27th or the 28th. So that was already a week. And I did buy this baby on my card. I don't even know why I keep trusting that app. <laughs> but um yeah, so I bought that baby and then she just never shipped it. I just kept messaging her. I would get literally no response back. But the thing that alarmed me the most, the thing that alarmed me the most was that she posted something else for listing like a day or two after I messaged her and didn't get a response. So it was almost going on, would it be two or three months? If I bought the baby December 14th and it's February, it was almost being February 14th during this time. I, I was just, I guess, two months. Um, So going on two months, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to cancel this and get my money back. And then I seen that the listing was like gone and disappeared and I wasn't able to contact her anymore. And like, I wasn't able to find out because you have to like, get the listing in order to get a refund but everything worked out fine Macari had ended up automatically canceling my order because it's literally it was almost two months it was a few more days until it hit exactly two months and this lady did not ship out the baby and i was so so mad because i was like you know take your time just let me know when you'll ship it out or hey will you be able to ship it then it was just a lot of excuses i got about three messages from her and I sent about like 20 it seems like 20 messages is a lot but when you're waiting it's almost been two months and I'm not texting her every day I'm texting her like once every couple of weeks almost 
and I don't even think it was 20 messages. That's just me over exaggerating, but it kind of was a lot of messages and it was just a one-sided conversation because I literally did not hear back from this person at all. And so that is why that's the ring light, but on my phone, it doesn't look as bad with the ring light out. So I am going to just leave it. Sorry about the horrible lighting guys. But um, that is why you guys have not seen a box opening from me. And I just decided to go back into painting instead and ha trying to see if this time I will have better luck about selling the babies. Um, not really, but I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep trying to sell these babies. I really want them gone. I really want them sold. And I just found out my dream baby is up for sale right now. So if I can't get any of my babies sold, like him, Claudia, um... Scarlet and Blinklin, then I am going to have to put up Javen. And um, I really don't want to do that. I don't want to have to put up Javen because I do love Javen. I was hoping I could kind of rely on these cute babies to sell, but um, Javen will possibly be up for self. So if anyone is interested in Javen, then uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, I didn't want to have to list Javen, but my dream baby is literally up for sale right now. And uh, yeah, let's hope I can still get this baby, even with none of my babies selling. I don't think I will, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly make this video. Here's the babies. They're for sale. She's saying, hi, somebody adopt me. She has like so many veins he has like hardly any but here he is those are two babies he doesn't have eyebrows because well if you watch my video you know why but those of you who didn't watch it go watch it but he doesn't have eyebrows because i'm waiting on whoever adopts him to let me know if they want me to do root some hair on him and if they want me to do eyebrows but he has eyebrow bones so they look really cute without eyebrows anywho those are the babies Look how long. Look how long he is. He's so cute. If anyone is interested, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I won't accept Lailway just because these babies are fairly cheap. But maybe we can work something out. I'm very flexible. But I did Lailway one time. And the lady, she was great. She was really, really great. And I, she's she's an amazing person, but it just took so long for that layaway, and that baby wasn't too much. I just didn't. It was my first layaway. I didn't know what to do. So maybe this time it would be better. Like I said, I'm very reasonable, understandable. Just don't. I don't know how to say this nicely. <laughs> just please, 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 just don't waste my time, guys. I know asking for pictures and prices is not a time waster but like i said if you keep contacting me asking to buy the babies and say you're gonna buy it on this day and that day you never do and then just get to you that cycle and keep contacting me about buying babies and again never do then you're i'm not gonna keep responding back to you guys and that's not me being mean that's just business okay no blinklin is the cheapest baby i have for sale because i did not pay her and she is also a boo-boo baby. She's in the 100s. And she's the only baby in the 100s. Scarlet is $230 free shipping. These babies are a little bit more than that. But they're all under $300 free shipping in the US. That is it for this video, guys. I am rambling now. So if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. At my underscore reborns. I am on reborns.com selling babies at um melanated babies and i do have a membership linked in the description below if anybody wants to join like i said everything is linked in the description and you can just click on it and it brings you automatically there also if you're interested in the baby so you don't have instagram that is totally fine i do have an email linked below again serious inquiries only if you guys like this video give it a big thumbs up comment down below anything you want in the comments including video requests if you're not already subscribed to my channel Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.